So I kind of had this, oh, you're only doing it because Fight Club is telling you to do it. And then when he's reading his book and spending time with the Lord, it was, oh, you're only doing it because Fight Club's telling you, and then once it's over, you're not going to do it anymore. So I started creating all these um, issues from my head into our marriage. And so at the end of chapter, the first chapter he was in, I was just grateful that he was done. He was graduating, and I was like, okay, he's done. But what I loved about the Fight Club men is that they continue to encourage him and say, you know, continue with it. Don't stop. This is not just something that you do and then quit. This is something that we are training you to do on an ongoing thing so you can continue to be there for your brothers in Christ. You can continue to be there for your family, your wives, and so he may continue to encourage him. And then during that time period is when I found out about auxiliary force. And so what I loved about it, I joined, and they started teaching me as one of the women to receive what he was doing in our home. So when he was praying for his brothers, instead of me thinking, oh, he's taking time away from me and the kids, instead of me being selfish, I started to pray for him as he is in battle, praying for his brothers. And then when he was praying for me, I began to pray with him. When he would say, let's go out to dinner, I received it with joy and considered it, okay, well, let's go out on a date. Let's spend time together. And it became this routine that he did, not just during Fight Club, but through the duration of our marriage. And it has strengthened our marriage. And so if I didn't have that, if I didn't have some women coming alongside me, teaching me to receive what he was doing for me and our family, I mean, I really don't know where we would be in our marriage because like I said, that first chapter was the absolute hardest. I mean, to be transparent, I mean, I was like, you know what? We can get divorced. I mean, I was so angry because I didn't understand. And so now that I do, Fernando is in his seventh chapter and the love and support um, has grown immensely. His spiritual leadership in our home has just went to a whole new level because I was always the spiritual leader in our home. He was the provider. He went out and he worked. And I was the one raising the kids, teaching them about the Lord. And so the other great thing with Bike Club is that it showed him, these men, rallied around him and showed him how to become that spiritual leader in our home. And then the women in auxiliary force showed me how to receive him to be the spiritual leader in our home. And like I said, it's been absolutely amazing. I love my husband more than anything. Is our life perfect? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. However, when battles come in our home, instead of me doing the battle by myself and him doing battle by himself, now we do it together. And so that's why I came alongside Carmen and I said, hey, we need to do this together because she's right. There are so many families that have so much tension built up because they're not working together. And then the word says in Ecclesiastes 4.12 that two are better than one. 
And the Greek, a strain of Greek, is not easily broken. And so that's what this is about. That is what Auxiliary Force and Fight Club is all, all about, is that coming together in one unity, one accord, not only in our marriages, but in our church. And so this is why I encourage, if any of you think, you know what, this is my last chapter, I say, no, it's not. Continue on. Continue the fight. Continue to bring along other brothers to fight club. And then women, I encourage you, join Auxiliary Force. Come alongside other women so we can do this battle together for not only our men, but for our family. And I just want to add to that, you know, the Fight Club men are coming, they're signing on to a 10-week discipleship ministry that is not easy. As all of you know, it is not easy, but you are willing to do it. Why? Because you recognize that you need more. The Lord expects more from you, and you are capable of so much more. So I want to encourage the ladies, just like they are stepping out of, in, in, out of their comfort zone and into what God is calling them to do, do the same. Because if we could not get it right that the men need to lead our homes, then we're, it's always going to be a power struggle, especially spiritually. So, you know, we would just love to invite you guys in the fall. We need you. And, and if I could just say one last thing, just like the men, they have each other. They, they are a band of brothers. There have been best friendships coming out of the Fight Club ministry. And if it wasn't for Connie, Karen, Veronica, I just came out of, you know, I'm still going through the hardest, probably one of the hardest parts, you know, in my life with a child of mine. But they've come alongside me because that's what ministry does. And that is what groups do. So if that is what you're looking for, ladies, join us so that we can better support our men as they fight for our families. That's what it's about, right? That's what this ministry is about. You know, when we started this ministry, we did not have an auxiliary force. And God put on our hearts to say, hey, how can we get our wives, how can we get, and it doesn't have to be just wives, guys, okay? If you're single, it could be the women in your life, it could be your mothers, your grandmothers, friends, it could be anyone. We just need women to come alongside of us and lock arms with us and help us through uh, what we're going through. It's so awesome, and that's why it says in Scripture, iron sharpens iron. That's just not for men, that's for women as well, amen? All right, Pastor James, we're going to have a message from Pastor James. He said, I'll be home. Hold the mic up, buddy. I can't. He said, I'll be home here. Yeah. Did the more than me. I don't think I just said that. Hey, you guys. Think of it. I mean, I hear you. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> we all know he's wrong. He obviously deserves it. I'm so humbled to receive this and thank you very much for all the fight club men and their support. And I'm, I really had a great time with this chapter because it's all about prayer. Prayer is very powerful, you know. So believe in the prayer, and, you know, it's going to happen. God, you know, brings everything that you need if you pray. So make sure, you know, you pray to God, you know, ask whatever you need and He will give it to you. No doubt about it. So thank you again. Uh, I'm really humbled to receive this. And finally, I'm going to close this up by prayer. Let's pray. Thank you for this fight club group and the men and uh, everything that you have brought us together. And you brought 
all these people close to and uh, help each other and keep, uh, let us uh, help each other and that you have given us the strength and courage to do and keep, yes, uh, help us to keep going and with the families and keep protect our families and help us to be the head of the families and be the guardian for our families and help everybody in this group. And thank you very much for everything you have done for us in Jesus' name. Amen.